Uh, guys, welcome back to Ordinary E. Uh, Ordinary Fella here. Remember, uh, this is part two of the 99 build case. All right. If you remember in the first part, you can go back and watch the video. We created a list. Um, we're going to try and build this, case, this computer, PC, gaming, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, try and be multifunctional actually, so so I can do better streams and, and uploads and stuff. But uh, we had a list, we were going to try and find a case, a keyboard, a mouse, a monitor, a CPU, motherboard, GPU, power, P, power supply, RAM, storage and stuff. We're using uh, free Facebook, Gumtree, eBay and what is that one, Trash Nothing. So. Uh, we've had a bit of success, sorry about the video being a bit late, I was meant to put it out last week, um, but I've been busy, we've been searching all these sites, and we've managed to bag our first free item, so haven't spent the 99p yet, and the free item is the case, so we're going to tip off the case, I'm going to fill out what it is, but I'm going to show you the case right now, and it is this bad boy, now it's huge. I don't know if I can get it all in the camera at this angle, but um, you might see there, it's a master cooler or cooler master. Yeah, cooler master case. It's pretty old. I mean, it's it's maybe 10, 15 years old, but it's huge. And it's a good snag for free. Um, I haven't opened it up. I haven't looked at it. It's a bit dirty. Let me uh, give you the once around, if I can just dis detach the camera here give you a quick once around so i think that's a half cooler master half which stands for high airflow i believe 192 or they did a, a nine they did some 900 versions um it's got a missing ao at the front i can see already uh, there's a huge intake at the top or outtake or output for air around the side here is the half kind of etched on there and another place for air to go in or out and the back I mean it's in pretty good nick it's a bit dirty so I'm going to give it a good clean up um, so that's the half that's we're going to just take it apart uh, put you back there sorry for the jiggly camera um, so yeah, there we go. So first off, first item, the case. Uh, let's put it down. Let's, let's take a look inside. Um, now, let's get my uh, trusty screwdriver gizmos. Pretty good case actually. This has everything you need for PC building. I got it off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get this. It has 115 pieces uh, and it comes with like a, a magnetical thing. Magnetical? Is that a word? Uh, which, if you pass this through, it then makes your bits magnetic. So you can pass this through here. I'm not sure how, you meant, how long you're meant to leave it. Um, but that's that. Uh, you get some guitar rift pieces but just uh, just to help you unclip stuff and a sucker and a normal key so forth anyway so what are we going to need to do here i don't see any thumb screws usually these cases come with thumb screws but i don't see one here and there's quite a big bit there so we're going to choose this one maybe let's start doing the case yeah You probably want to see me what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see this, but there's two screws here which I'm going to undo, and you see the magnetic thing works perfectly. I have more magnetic things actually, so hold on there. These things here are real handy. So this is a a plate that you can just throw your screws in, it's magnetic, doesn't drop out, yeah, real good. So we'll use that. So that's one screw there, 
and we'll take out this screw here. This should release the side panels, right? I don't see any more screws for that. We have some grommets for cables. And there's a, a side PCI slot, I believe these are called, and these are PCI slots. Some of these are missing already. Um, probably not, probably not uh, essential if we're going to be removing some of these anyway for other components. But that should release the side panel and it does like so uh, as you can see it's pretty dirty so we'll clean this all up uh, inside the case oh, one, of the, one of the grommets has gone already and they just pop back in right yeah good good wow so that's a, a, a neat looking case inside actually and I think uh, what are these so these are for drive bays you can put I think CD writers and the old style CD writers and readers etc I don't think I'm going to be using any of these these days so I might remove this again this is um, bays for your hard drives so 3.5 drives I think they're called or probably bigger or lesser I'm not sure but anyway your drives would probably sit here and what is that so I would take it your power supply would be there's your power supply would sit here with your your bottom fan blowing out there oh it has the that's cool so we have some of the I don't know if you can see but we have some of the rubber pads here which your power supply would sit on there's possibly some missing there actually We'll have to figure out a way to put some more back on there. This is for, um, could be the SSDs. I'll, I'll do some research and figure it out. But um, the way I'm going to configure this case is going to be kind of modern. I'm going to follow the modern people's designs. And uh, I'll show you a picture of what we're trying to envisage here. Now, usually a case would come with a, a side glass panel these days. Tempered glass. I don't have one here. What I have done though is sourced a TV cabinet that has a glass panel. So what I might do is take that glass panel off. Again, it's for free, so I'm gonna go and pick it up. Take that glass panel off and see if I can somehow be able to put it onto this case. Um, as I say, I don't think, I think this is the SSD holder maybe. You can see quite a few holes. So we'll remove that. We don't need these, so we'll take them off. We'll open this case up. This case here would probably fit. I'll tell you if, uh, if it will tell me. Oh, it says so. It's an eight. It can take an MB, a micro ATX, or an ATX motherboard. It's all pretty good. It's labelled A, B, C. If you're doing an a, an ATX, you're going to have to use all the. That's pretty cool. So it's got all the, up to A to L. All the mounting holes for the motherboard. So if you're using an ATX, you're going to have to use all of A to L. If you're using a micro ATX, you use A to I, and that's it really, actually. You can only use a micro ATX or an ATX. But that's all you want, really. I don't know what other motherboards there are, other than ATX or micro ATX. Maybe later on down the line when I learn more about PC building, I will figure that out. So that's one side panel off. And you can see it's a bit dirty, so we'll clean this up now. So another panel off just comes off and it's, it's a nice black already so usually these are grey and stuff but this is a nice coloured black powder coated uh, metal so that's, that's going to look real good uh, really dirty and nothing much to see there so all your cables and stuff will be here this is where I'd expect an SSD these days to be put but we'll figure that out maybe we'll just attach it at the back down for the front, there should be clips from what I've learned. Yes, there's two clips at the back here. I don't know if there's any more. Uh, there's two at the top. Let's see if we can take that out. Two at the back and two down the bottom. Oh, yeah, and that comes fully off. So, ooh, yeah, we're going to have to clean up that filter. Um, I'm missing a bay cover here. The power buttons are here and they're springy 
so they work. So that's good. So we'll clean that up real good. Jesus, look at that size of that fan. That is a. Uh, that's not a 120 fan. That's for sure. Maybe a 200. The 200 fan speeds all right. Pretty straight. So we'll figure that out. There's a uh, some connections. Oh, we do have a lead. We have a lead for the fan, which is always good. We don't know if it works. There's a bit of a uh, bit of damage to the cable, so possibly it won't work. Possibly it will. We'll clean that up. We'll take it off. We'll clean that up. And the only disappointing thing about this case, and if I just show you, is I don't have an AO front. I don't have an AO front. So what do we do with that? I don't know if I can source that or how else we turn that on. I'm going to need a power button. Some motherboards come with a power button on there. So I may just be sticking a screwdriver in and turning a PC on without a power button on the front. I don't know. We'll figure that out later on. The uh, joys of joys of you can't grumble. It's free, right? You got some feet, rubber feet on the bottom. They're actually hard plastic, which isn't great. Um, and yeah, so that's the case. Let me. I've got some ideas. I had some leftover wrap, which is this stuff. I was trying to on a different project with my kitchen. I was trying to wrap my doors. Didn't go very well. Let's see if it can handle this case better. Maybe I'll wrap one of the sides, get the glass panel for the other side, try and make it look modern. Uh, maybe I'll wrap the top. Um, but overall, this is a pretty good case to start off with for free and spend no money. Um, so it's a good start to our 99% 99p build, which is about 60 cents if you're in the US. Um, yeah, let me clean this up and give you a little B roll. I don't know how to do a B roll, but I just said it. All right, I said it. Let me clean this up and then I will show you the finished item. Okay. So I've just taken out the, uh, the screws. There was so many screws here for the for the filter. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws there for the filter. The screws are pretty dirty as well, so we're going to clean those up and see if we can reuse those. But just check this out, guys. Oh, don't let your PC go to this. You've got to uh, keep it clean. There's a double mesh type thing going on here. Um, but oh, yeah, we'll clean this up now. All right, guys, we are back after a big deep clean of this Cooler Master. As you can see, it's all been taken apart and all the components are all over the place. So let's put it back together. I think I'll start with just these grommets if I can try and show you I'm just trying to stick these grommets back in there now I think they're called grommets. Still a bit wet. I can't do it from this side, so let me just do it quick.
All right, there in. Um, not sure what went on first, so I need to figure it out. Nice and clean. It's come unstuck a bit. I put some super glue down. Um, there's a little nick here, so I'm not sure if this fan will work. Um, it's, poor. it's pretty much because it rubs on on the case around about. So the cable goes through here, I believe. Uh, at some point it, it just rubs against there so not very good in design um, I wonder if I mean we don't need these at the back one of those grommets would have been helpful at the front in the design but we could put the fan back now so we'll do that of course it's upside down uh, we want it to blow Oh, that's a good thing. I want it to take air in and blow it outwards, right? Not sure if that's the right way. Yeah. So. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe if the fans are facing you, if you see the brackets at the back, this is going to blow air in. This is going to capture, or probably that way, and throw it inwards, which is what we want, right? So we'll just put this back on. Apologies if you can't see what I'm doing. It's windy out there today. So basically all I'm doing here, I'll show you here on the last one, is I'm putting this spacer in the fan and I'm just thumb tightening it at the minute and then I'm going to tighten them up in a cross direction so there's pressure equal on all sides. <coughs> big 200 mil fan installed you can see that I took out um, got these things you can see I took out the it was an SSD holder that goes there and your know, drive holders there I just think the case looks more airy and cleaner that way so I, don't, I won't be putting them I won't be putting them back I mean they just it just slides in like so and you take it out um, and this one was just screwed screwed in down there but I think the case in modern builds with your new SSDs and your M.2s and whatever depending on the motherboard I get will depend on what I can put in obviously but um, yeah I think it looks much cleaner this way so we'll leave it like that for now I don't have a 
hopefully the motherboard comes with one, but I don't have this shield at the back. Uh, I think the front can go on now. Uh, this is that thing that had a ton of screws, right? Yeah. So I'll just move this out of the way for a second. Maybe you like this kind of thing, but you can watch me put some screws in. I don't know why this thing had so many screws. Oh, go on. So the magnet helps sometimes, except for when it goes on its side. Good thing about this screwdriver is it's got a spinny head on the bottom there so you can grasp it in your palm and it spins with your with your two fingers like that see so without having to move your palm this is good Do you think this uh, this cover was going to blow off or something with a 200mm fan? All these screws. I cleaned the screws as well, just soaked them in soapy water, dried them off. As long as you dry them off quick, it shouldn't rust. As long as you don't do this too many times. Oh, my little rubber things have come off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If I can speed this up on the video, I will. The last one. Right. Now that could go back on. Alright, so now we can get, put the front back on. Uh, or do we put the top back on? By the way, people keep putting stickers on your case. Oh my god, please don't. Just clip on like so. Um, also clean these front drive plates. Oh, wasn't very good. Like so. There we are. Just missing the top one. I'm missing the AOU power switch. I'm sure I can buy a power button. Um, let me know where I can get one from. I'll check Amazon. We can put the sides back on for now. Let's leave that one off a minute.
screw one screw into there. And that is it guys, your half high airflow, I think it's a 912 cooler master, all cleaned up. So this is the case we're going to use. God, these grommets are uh, finicky. Stop popping out. Anyway, I'll fix that later. We now know we need what board we need. We need an ATX board. Um, to determine the board we get, I've got a little surprise for you. So, let's bear with me. Right back. Boom. In this package here is the CPU which I've purchased for 99p. So so far the cost of the case me the cost the case has cost me nothing and the CPU which is in here has cost me 99p and in order to see what CPU we have managed to get for 99p tune in to part 3 all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate everything you do uh, subscribe and like or dislike i guess hopefully you like Ring the bell for the next episode, part three, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.